Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I have finally decided to start this model that Mr. Alvis Barrington gave to me at, what was it? Acme. Acme. Um, I don't know what to say. He's being she difficult. She done the whole video all by herself and just couldn't stop talking. But what, I mean, <laughs> what do I say? So you're going, what are you about to do? Just I am, I've already unboxed it because I'm sure I'll watch the video or whatever. Um, but we're going to cut the pieces off and, what's that called? Clean them up. Clean them up and put some paint on it. Stand by. <laughs> yeah. All right, so she's got the body well, I don't know. What do you have? Talk to the camera, Ruthie. <laughs> like uh, you did on that video you and Ellie did. Well, it's different. You weren't in here. What's the difference? I was watching it. After it was done. Everybody else on YouTube watched it. Oh. And that was all right with you. Okay. What well, what you got? Um, I glued the bumper and the... Is that the bu Are they both bumpers? Well, they're not necessarily bumpers. I, I'm just calling them bumpers as a reference. It's front and back, but these cars don't have bumpers. Bumpers or used the to be... the front of the car. Yeah, the nose cone and the... What would it be called? On the actual instructions. It's the front fascia is the front. And the rear is the rear fascia. So you got the front and rear fascias... Keep, huh? keep, keep oh, I talking. thought you were saying something. I'm just, you said, what are they? Oh, okay. Um, and then I, would you say filed or buffed? Uh, Both. so she sanded the, sanded once them. you get the front and rear on there, they kind of, they don't align perfectly. So I had to smooth these out and then I had to smooth this out because there was, this was sticking out too far. Then I did that to all. So the she, sides. So she had to make sh like the alignment of the rear fender wells were off a little because the rear <coughs> fascia it didn't completely line up. So she had to sand that out, and she also put on the mirrors because oh, yeah. the good. mirrors are body color, and they could be put on after. But um, I think she'll be okay to be able to paint everything um, with them on there. This is a very simple model very. kit. As a matter of fact, Mark Batson did a short just recently. He had one of these. He, I don't even think, he, well, he didn't because this video hadn't come out. But he, he showed his on a short. And he even said he recommended people get one of these. It's the uh, showroom replicas. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. They are super nice. They're super simple. So if you want a slump buster, you know what a slump buster is? I do not. A slump buster is like... So I'm over here working on this thing. It's got lots of detail and you kind of get burned out. And a slump buster is something that you can kind of knock out quick. It looks good, but it's easy. Mm -hmm. So these are like really good slump buster kits. So everything's ready for primer. Um, the um, the wheels, should I do a little, uh, little trim? Are these rims? You can say they're rims, but somebody on here will say, no, they're not rims, Ruthie. Those are wheels. But anyway, yeah, they're rims. Um, so she had to do a little bit of cleaning up. And in the process, it kind of takes some of the chrome off. So we'll probably end up stripping it. Yep, stripping those and um, giving them the uh, spastics chrome treatment or the AK or the Alclad or whichever one we choose to do. But anyway, also... <coughs> If you got a beginner modeler, I think this is really cool. Extra decals. Yeah, so it gives you like doubles of everything. So if you've got a, a junior modeler in your in your household and you want them a, uh, to get them a kit and it's got extra decals, so if they mess up, which the decals are really simple, but two sets of head or two sets of uh whatever these are. Who are they? Two sets of mirrors, two sets of all the decals, and blinkers. Everything has. You know what? I take that back. Maybe it don't got two sets. Yeah, yeah, yep. it does. Yeah, because yeah. the back ones are red and the front ones are orange. So you got, yeah, you got. It gives, oh, it's these. That's those. what. That's what those things maybe right here are. I don't know, but anyway, it's cool. It gives you two instrument clusters. Um, 
It what gives you. Oh, there's a TV screen. That's for this right here. That's the TV screen. So it's pretty cool that it gives you all that those extra decals. If you mess any up, you've got doubles. What are these? Oh gosh, right here. So oh wait, does it? No. I think it says wait. GM. You can't see. It my... has what they are on here. Yeah, right here. Oh, it does. That. So right here is that little GM <laughs> emblem right there. And see, we got those. So that's neat too. Um. Oh, it's even got these for the seats. Okay, so the seats get oh. decals. I didn't realize that either. Mirrors, left backup lights. That's exactly what that is. That's backup lights that go. Well, oh, they go on the actual. No, I don't know where them suckers go. Anyway, we're going to set the camera up. She's going to spray some primer. Okay, ready? All right, here we go. So Ruthie is about to paint her Corvette. I'm going to do something different. We're going to uh, first coat's going to be bright red, and then her second coat is going to be panther pink. We don't know how this is going to turn out, but it wasn't exactly the color she wanted. That's the only real pink color I had. So we're going to see what it looks like over red. Probably make it kind of I don't know red pink. I think that's what it's gonna look like. All right, so you ready? Let's see. We gotta turn on the vacuum, vacuum cleaner.
paint job looks pretty darn good. You done a good job. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's the backup button on this thing? There we go. So her panther pink over red turned out really nice. And uh, I honestly didn't think you would want to paint a car pink, to be honest with you. But you did, so uh, what you think about it? I like it a lot. You like it a lot? Yeah. Okay, well good. Okay guys, well, the video's <laughs> over. No, anything you want to say? Um, I don't know. <laughs> she don't know. She don't know if she wants to say anything. Well, I guess I'll say something. This is the end of the video. And uh, she's looking good, Ruthie. You did a good job. She painted on there, and I think she's learning how to do this. And uh, you guys encourage her, and uh, maybe you'll see her car this year at Acme. That'd be cool. What you think about that? Yeah. Oh boy. And now they all know all the the talking and laughing and say, giggling. Yeah! yeah, exactly. That's what I want you to say. Everybody knows your bubbly personality. They saw it. Now when I'm behind the camera, it's like. <laughs> cricket sounds all right so anyway it's looking good we're gonna put this thing in the incubator see if we can't get it to hatch and uh if nobody if y'all don't know what i'm talking about there's an incubator right there that uh that's what we put our bodies in let them let them uh, gas out what we put our bodies in well <laughs> whatever that was like a car body right there all right so we're done and um thanks for watching don't forget to check out and Facebook, face up group, Facebook group, and my channel that I never post videos on. The channel she never posts I any videos on. I am working on. on a video. I just needed a break. She needs. She does. So stressful. Yeah, it's so <laughs> stressful. She needs a break. Anyway, all right. Well, um, don't forget to check out the Patreon page and the um, Spring Store. And I appreciate all you guys who support us. And watch these videos and we'll be back on part two and it won't take no time to get this built because it doesn't have an engine it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff but it's gonna be a cool little car I think it's gonna turn out nice all right Ruth let's close this out bye. <laughs> all right, bye.